Brian, cruising through uh, some emails that came through over the last couple of weeks, somebody had sent me a link to YouTube saying, you got to see this. It's, <laughs> it's the new next generation primary glider. Took a look at it, just fell immediately in love. Just some really interesting ideas. I guess is this is the EMG six prototype right now. Six. Yeah, we've been we've been working on multiple ideas on how to get the ultimate uh, ultralight and reinvigorate the ultralight segment of aviation. You know, we make our living in light sport industry, and we've come to the realization that a hundred thousand dollar entry price is not a viable concept for the average pilot and. We really think that the new electric aviation potential is huge. We can get rid of a lot of the problems with the noise, with the reliability issues associated with the small two-stroke engines. We really think that the solution to solving all of the aviation's problems is getting more pilots out there and starting with something that's cost-effective. And so that's where all of this drive really comes from, is to really be a significant impact on aviation as a whole. We're trying to fill that niche, and we think the electric market really has the solution to that. And that combined with a cost-effective airplane, we think we're on the right track. We recognize really early on that in the ultralight industry, there's no way that we're going to ever have the numbers that we can afford to pay for the R&D of these electric motors. The model industry is gangbusters in this area. The motors that we're using on the prototype airplane, which has, actually hasn't flown other than a glider right now, but the electric motors, the first ones coming off are German-built Plettenberg Predator 37 motors that are giant scale RC motors. Everything is off the shelf, proven technology. All of the motor design that we've got on the airplane is all based on the principle that technology is advancing so quickly that we're doing a modular power plant system. We recognize that whatever we develop initially, it's already gonna be obsolete by the time we bolt it on the airplane. We don't want to be motor developers, controller developers. There's some really smart people out there in the industry. We have a motor guy that's doing all of our motor stuff right now, Daniel Estes, and he's in Dallas, Texas. He's one of our students from our maintenance courses really sharp and has got some really great ideas and is doing all of the prototype testing and wind tunnel testing right now on the initial motor. Probably late February we will have a motor on the airplane at least as a sustainer. Okay. And right now we're flying it all under part 103 and we will probably move fairly quickly to the next airplane as an experimental amateur built so that we can start doing some big batteries, longer flight times and stuff like that. When can we expect a commercial product? We have partnered with Quicksilver. They are under new ownership now, and the new owners are very progressive. And part of the reason that we've done that is their mass production capabilities and their industry leadership that they've had over the years makes us a natural that if we do get geared up to where we're needing to manufacture a lot of airplanes, because the key to this whole thing, we think, is the cost. And the only way you can get cost down is we got to get unit production up. Otherwise, we're just going to have to pay for those small units through raising the prices of the thing. So we've got some pretty ambitious goals for what we're trying to accomplish. And if everything goes well, sun and fun, we're hoping to have some airplanes here and be taking some money. We've had lots of people trying to shove money in our face right now, but we've got a lot of due diligence that has to be done before then approaching streamline designs to help us validate all of our engineering. We have yet to do the structural load testing to failure. And we still have a lot of flight testing to do. We've only had 18 test flights since January 1. What are your expected numbers as a glider? What are you looking for for ultimate L over D mid-sync and overall performance? Uh, the numbers that we believe we're going to be able to achieve are 18 to 1 glide ratio and a 300 foot per minute sync rate. What you have to remember is that when you add a small electric motor as a sustainer in that platform, boy, the options really go up. We're really looking at 30 minutes worth of motor time in a cruise configuration, and we think we can do a power plant package and batteries for 30 minutes of endurance on the thing for probably four grand. What's CMG gonna cost somebody to go out and play with? We think we can get a plans-built airplane flying 10 grand. The Kit built, fast build kit, 90 hours to assemble. We think that's going to be right at 16,000. Okay. And our long term ambitious goals are actually to put it into the ELSA and SLSA category because it is a two place airplane. And we think that we can actually build a two place glider SLSA used for flight training, 25 grand. It's made modular so you can change, you can upgrade. 
but you can get in the air as low cost as possible. And I got to tell you, I could go out there right now and be towing this thing with a car and a 1400 foot piece of rope and having a ball all day long. I just love every minute of that we're doing. You know, so it's not like the electric is the final, it's just the next step in the whole thing. So. Sounds like a great concept and at some point down the line, I got to come out and fly it. It just Absolutely. sounds too much fun and oh, it is too I much hate fun. to miss out on too much fun. <laughs> Thanks so much. You bet. The aviation industry is far too automated and impersonal. Levels of care, service, and focus on customers have faded. Concierge provides premier customer care, leading our industry on a return to service. Find us at www.concierge.aero. Ready for a bold and never boring LSA? Check out the Renegade Little Rascal LS1 and LS2 fully aerobatic light sport aircraft with dependable fuel-injected Lycoming AEIO 233 power. Since 2001, MGL Avionics has produced avionics for experimental and light sport aircraft. The flagship product is the IEFIS, a comprehensive next-generation flight, engine, and navigation instrument designed to meet the demands of the modern pilot. See more at www.mglavionics.com.